Hello, this is David Wamsley. This video is part of my very loose series on building a product site with Beaver Thema. Here, I'm gonna be taking a look at two premium plugins. They are Facet WP and the Search and Filter Pro plugin. Now, I'm not an affiliate with either of these and my experience with both is fairly limited, but I've needed both for those circumstances where I wanted to send a visitor to a page where they can sort through hundreds of posts and have them display without the need to refresh or to go to another page. So I've needed a plugin that works with Beaver Builder that's able to pull from the database the information that's needed and arrange it with Ajax. Now, before I come off camera, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna largely focus on the Search and Filter Pro plugin because that's the one that I'm likely to be using most going forward. And I need to say a big thanks to fellow beavers, particularly Nathan Simpson, without who I could not be doing this video because he helped me get my settings right on my demo site. But also Neil Garren, who shared some of his screenshots as well to the Beaver Builder Facebook group. So. Very big thanks to both of you. Anyway, I'm coming off camera and we'll get started. To give this video some context, I'm taking a look at a site that I featured in an earlier Beaver Builder website, Stripped Down. This was a Stripped Down without a guest. It was just me talking about this furniture product site that we built, which was the first site we built with Beaver Thema. And what the client wanted was the ability to show off their entire product range and have it filterable by the brands that they had, the types of furniture, the applications for that furniture, and also an A to Z listing of their furniture range. And it was really easy for us to create this great effect. We use Facet WP, and what we did was create a custom post type called products, and we created individual taxonomies for applications, types, and brands. And so long as we labeled up our products or tagged them up with these names, then we just needed to add Facet WP. And it was a really easy thing at the time. They also introduced a great add-on, uh, which was an integration. Let me just find that for Beaver Builder. So this allowed us to use modules to drag them into our templates to show off the individual facets. Well, these are over here. I also just noticed that yesterday, it's worth mentioning that they've added pods integration as well. So that's something quite new. So everything was good with it. I was really pleased with what we've done and how Facet worked. The only issue that we had was with the pricing model that they had. So with us, we were normally taking care of the licensing for our clients. They're on our care plan. So we go for unlimited licenses so they don't have to go to multiple vendors to be able to renew every year. We knew this would be too much of a burden. But when it comes to Facet WP, they had dropped their unlimited license. So if I wanted a developer one, the best I could do is go for their professional, which is on the higher side when they started with facet wp it was going at a very low price i think it was 29 dollars for unlimited but now it's much higher and it was increasing in the time that i was considering it but it's only for 20 sites as well and i'm obviously going to use some of those for testing so i probably wouldn't be able to put those on clients or really know how to sort of price things because I don't know how many clients might take up this offer. So ideally I wanted unlimited. I wanted it to be a little bit less because for me, I'm seeing it as an addition mostly to Beaver Thema, and this is more expensive than Beaver Thema. One of the changes, of course, was that they dropped the renewal rate as well. I think it was higher than the 20% that was on offer here. So with using Facet WP, we have to pass that burden on to the client to buy their own individual license, which is okay. They get one to three sites they can use it on. So there is a testing site there. But ideally, we were looking for the same kind of functionality that I had there with an unlimited license. And we did look at the time at Search and Filter Pro. But foolishly, I didn't take much notice of the author. I did reach out to him and asked him whether he could do 
what I wanted to do with the Eva Thema, which is fairly new at the time, and he believed he could and just write in for support. But I know other people, as it was new with Thema, were struggling to do what I did, and I also borrowed a copy from someone to try and do it myself, and I couldn't do it. So it's only recently, with Nathan Simpson helping me out, that I've realized that I could have gone for this. So this is now my favorite choice due to the unlimited license and what I need. So it's $75 per year for a developer license unlimited. It doesn't mention anywhere through the buying process because obviously I have bought this now about a renewal discount. But in fact, I did find on their forums the mention that there is a 20% off. Now, whether that's going to remain, I don't know, but certainly that's what they have been doing. So this became very attractive because I could do the same. And let me just show you because I have recreated what I was doing on that furniture site. So here is the dummy site that I'm using throughout this series on making a product site. And here it is using Facet doing the same kind of thing. And here we have it We're doing the same thing here again, but we are using Search and Filter Pro. So for what I needed, obviously Search and Filter Pro was the plugin for me. So partly what I want to do for anybody who's interested in that plugin, who might be having difficulty with getting it to work with Beaver Thema, I wanted to make that video for them. And what I've done is I've created a page here and it's got the screenshots of what I'm using on that dummy site for those who might want to use that plugin. It's a slideshow here. I'm pretty sure if you copy what is here, you will get everything working as you need to and you'll be able to work out the rest for yourself. And I've also included some of the CSS that I'm using on my dummy site. But also what I wanted to do was to try and do some compare and contrast between these two plugins because they are both great plugins. That there are some differences and they might not make the same decision as I make, or there might be certain circumstances where Facet WP will be better for a particular kind of job. So I'm going to try and do a compare and contrast, but there's a big caveat because I only have a very superficial knowledge of both of these plugins. So I'm hoping that somebody might be able to pick me up if they know something different. It's still worth me making, I believe, because I could not find anything else out there that did a proper comparison. And of course, it wouldn't be in context of Beaver Builder. And certainly things are changing, of course, with these plugins over time. So I have made a little note to remind me. So similarities between these plugins, it appears to me that they've both arrived in 2014 at the beginning, I think of 2014 or somewhere close to the beginning. And they both get excellent praise for their good support. And that's just what I've seen by going through various Facebook groups. So, I, you know, it's not great research has gone into this, but I both from people I know and trust say that they've received excellent support. So that's great. They both work with WooCommerce and Advanced Custom Fields plugin. I believe Facet WP has got better integration there. For one thing, if you're using WooCommerce, WooCommerce has a pricing slider that you can use. Now, this kind of filter is not available in Search and Filter, but it is in Facet, so there's that link. Also, I believe the integration with ACF with Facet goes as far as things like repeatable fields and things like that. But I haven't researched this in great detail. From what I'm likely to need, it's not a big deal, but it may well be. And you probably need to search into that because it seems like Facet does more there. One of the differences, which is, I think, handy and finds at the moment, unless I don't know something in favor of search and filter, is the search itself because of the way that it works if i go over to my demo site for search and filter here i've got the search here now because this you create your own search template and you select what you're searching within this has a search for this particular custom post type here so i've put the word uh, fish in our product so if it should auto complete maybe i better reset this here make sure I'm searching blank. It does autocomplete, so I only need to get FI and it finds the cake that's got the word fish in it. And I'm able then to create another template as I have here for my blog and do the same. So if I, I put fish in one of these, if I put FI again, it's gonna autocomplete and find 
a different one. So there's no overlap. As far as I can see, when it comes to facet, you've got a facet for search, but it's going to search through everything. And I think you need another plugin or something else that you need to do to be able to make that search through individual custom post types or whatever you want to search through. So this seems really easy to use for search and filter pro. Let me go back to our notes. Now facet WP is going to win over the design flexibility just because of the way that it is, particularly with that integration with Beaver Builder. So if I go to the front end of my facet site now into my product archive made with Thema, as mentioned, we are now able to drag in our facets. Now I have got my facets over here. One downside is, I'm not sure if this was the case before, but it certainly isn't showing at the moment the content, but we can drag in our facets wherever we like. So we could put our, our search anywhere we want, separate to our filters, if we wanted to. We can't do that when it comes to the, let's go back to the products here, when it comes to Search and Filter Pro, if I go into the same archive template here, you will see what I have to place here is a short code. So all of our search and filtering options remain together and I can't create another short code which has search in it separate to my filtering to place it somewhere else. I can only have one template that I have a short code for in the same design. So <laughs> it's it's odd really, there's because it would be nice to be able to separate these out because the search works sort of independently, but um, it doesn't. And where I can do that with the facet side, I, I don't seem to have the ability to, to set different searches. So um, that's just, I think a restriction with either. I could be wrong, as I say, about facet. Okay, so that's that major difference. Let's just take a look again at my notes and we'll see that. Okay, so yes, the big difference is the number of filter options, as I mentioned about sliders that it has. Well, the best way is to show you this as well. Let me just go over to search and filter so we can see what they've got there's a difference as well search and filter have their plugin on the main menu uh, where you'll find as i go to it later that um, facet has it buried under their settings which i think i would prefer because i'm not so sure i'm keen to have the clients go and change these things but maybe it's not a big deal. So what happens with this when you're creating, if you like, your sort of template for this, you're creating a new search form. Let's go into the one that we've created. I'm not going to cover this in detail because you only really need to look at my screenshots to understand it. But as you can see, we are searching through a particular post type here. So I've selected products here. And we'll see here what options we've got for our taxonomies here. So I'm going, looking at the types here. We've got the drop down, which we're using. We've got check boxes, radio, and we've got multi select, which is just like drop down, but you can select more of them in one go. If we go over to the same for Facet WP, we'll see there's a greater range. So this is how facet works. You create your new individual facets and here's my one for type and here's my available options for the filters here. So we've got more, we've got uh, star ratings, we've got proximity, which I'm not sure what that is, number range, date range, slider, autocomplete. I'm sure that works in the same way that search and filter does. Uh, we've got hierarchy and We've got, this is really the same as the multi-select, but it's, I think, a little bit nicely done. I think you can kind of tick on these individually or, or they've got little, um, I think, radio boxes that go by the options as well. So this has more of this. There's also another function which I ought to mention while I'm in the back end here. This is something that's just very recently been added. Probably no use to me as a Beaver Builder user using Thema because I'm going to use the 
Beaver Thema to lay out my templates, but you can create your own and it's got a query builder here. So for folks who are more into sort of doing clever things with ACF and, and Facet will probably really uh, get some value out of this. I can't see it for my basic purposes, but in some ways, if you take a look at the search and filter plugin, in a way it kind of has its own builder anyway. This is what it is. You're dragging in what you need into that builder. It just shows itself as a one short code at the front. So there's kind of some similarities between the two there. Okay, let me just go back to my list again. Yes, just the one last thing here, and that I think I can show you through their own site. And that is if we go over to the demos over here, what you'll see as I'm going through these checkboxes, it's adding these results here. And I can remove these individually and reset, which is quite nice. And I can place those, of course, with Beaver Builder and Beaver Thema wherever I would like. We haven't got the same as far as I can see when it comes to search and filter. If I go here, we've just got a reset button, which both can have. So it's not quite the same options that are available in Facet WP. But overall, for what I am likely to use with Beaver Thema, Search and Filter Pro is fantastic value. So I'm really pleased to have got that. So I think that's probably all I can say on this. I hope it's been useful. If it has been, then please give me a thumbs up, a like on YouTube and consider subscribing to the channel if you like these kind of videos. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you again in another video. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye.